There are certain inevitabilities in a fantasy setting. Sooner or later you're going to fight a dragon. Sooner or later you're going to get railroaded onto a boat by a DM so that they can use all the nautical themed monsters they never get to use. And you're going to travel copious amounts by road. Whether you're going to Neverwinter, Fandlin, or all the way to Baldur's Gate, you are going to be traveling a lot. And every once in a while, you're going to hear that telltale rolling of dice and rustling of papers that means you're finding a random encounter very soon. If you're going to do combat from a random encounter, I would want that to be accurate. And as such, today, I'm making a cart. A while ago I made a ton of this pre gridded terrain, so I cut out a 2x4 piece to act as the bed of the cart. I know a 10x20 foot cart seems extreme, but if you want to hold minis in it, it has to be at least this large. Next, I cut a 1 inch strip from foam board. These will get hot glued to act as the sides of the cart. When attaching the uprights to the sides, I laid down the base flat every time I attached one. This ensures that all the panels will be flush and they'll fit together perfectly. Rather than trying to make sure everything was cut perfectly, instead I attached the longest two and then used the gaps to measure the end pieces this guaranteed they'd all fit together correctly. I could have gone hunting for four identical buttons or some such, but I had a 7-up bottle on hand so I used the cap to dry out some circles and foam board, which I cut out to act as wheels. I drew these lines a centimetre from the ends and from the top to act as a visual guide when attaching the wheels. Once the first three were on, I set the cart down flat so I could attach the final wheel at the right height to prevent rocking or wobbling in the final product. With this done, it's off to paint. I had some dark grey paint on hand so I used this as a base coat, and once it was dry I painted the inside of the base dark brown. The first wood coat is a yellow ochre. I made sure to coat the underside of the wagon so it wouldn't look too unfinished if it was flipped over on the game table. I got a pair of these makeup sponges in the discount store so I figured I might as well use one. I got a nice dark brown and sponged it on at random. Then I allowed this to dry a little and I smeared the paint around just to give a bit of a wood grain effect. Nearly there. With all this dried, I took a sharpie with a fine and an ultra fine end. I used the ruler and a thicker end to draw planks and then the finer end to make breaks in between them. I could have drawn spoked wheels but I thought this style might look cool. A couple of these little adhesive gems in the centre add a final touch.
So that's how I put together a cart for tabletop gaming. The whole thing took me maybe 10 minutes. Uh, after that I was just waiting on paint. I figure I'm going to get quite a bit of use out of it and it'll last me a good long time. If you like what you saw here today, consider leaving a like or sharing the video. Leave a comment if you'd like to see me do something specific in the future. And subscribe to see what Fig makes next.